Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. I am here to represent the hardworking single parents. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and actually other strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, so today is, it's time for me to do my September monthly budget. Um, I do budget monthly and bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, when I do those prepaid aid preps, that's when I know exactly how much my paycheck will be. Monthly, I do this kind of just to do a projection of how much I'm expecting to make and what bills or expenses I'm going to have for that month specifically. So September is a birthday month for my daughter, so I really wanted to make sure I sat down and did this to plan for that. So let me show you first that I've written down all of my bills and the due dates in my September monthly. And we are getting <clears throat> we are getting back into the quarterly goals or period goals. So three month span of goals. So I want to make sure that my budget aligns with that too, those specific goals that I have set too. So here are the bills all written out. Mortgage has already been paid and come out. Internet has already been paid and come out, and the water bill has already been paid and come out. So September goes through um, starting September 9th all the way to October 6th. So that's my month. I don't go based on a calendar month. I go based on my two paychecks that will make up a month for me. So as long as all my bills can be paid within those two pay periods, that's a month for me. So starting on, let me just write that up here. So September is... 9, 9 to 10, 6. So that's these two paychecks here. And I'll get a no another paycheck on October 7th. So my goals I had already set up for the month. So here is my goal sheet. So I already wrote up here the month span. Water only for this month. So my goal for this month within this time frame is to drink water only. So no sodas, no juice, no coffee, no nothing. So that's the goal for the month of September. 6,000 steps daily. Um, finish my debt parking. I know 6,000 is small, but we've already gone over that in my planner video. Plan with me video. Finish debt parking. So I only have about $66 left to pay in that parking debt. That again was the one that had no minimum uh, payment due but I still want to get that off of my mind so that's so that's one of the goals for the month I want to read or re-listen to the 12 week year that's one of the books that I really liked that helped me do set up my goals then the $75 to uh, discover so discover has a balance of I think it's changed now but 225. So it has a balance of 225 as of now. The goal for August actually was to get it down to 200. So I think what I'm going to do is take some money from my wallet that I have and put it towards that credit card so that I can meet that August goal. So I wanted to do a midweek check in, but I'll show you guys that at the end. September birthday is an upcoming expense. Water bill is actually, that was already paid. Hulu is going up to $8 now instead of the three because I had a promotion that ended. I want to use my planner. School is starting this week. August interest in sinking fund tracker. So I need to update the interest that I got for the month of August. That did already hit for so far. So um, I'll show you guys that at a later date once I write down where you know, how much interest I got in each of my savings accounts. I need to finish doing my condensing. So my back to the bank and meal plan. I actually did already meal plan for the month. So I'm happy about that. Um, I have a separate planner or just a piece of paper. I just have a piece of paper. That's a calendar that I wrote down all the meals that we want to have for this month. And I actually should have did it all the way to October 6th and I didn't. So I need to update that. All right, so this is just notes for myself and goals and things to keep in mind. Actually, when I do my midweeks, I want to do two new things. So when I do my midweeks, I want to see if I can contribute to the dollar challenge, depending on, you know, what I have left. And I want to review my goals to make sure I'm on track. So that's an update that I want to start doing. All right, put that to the side. So let's get into the September monthly budget. 
I have an idea of where I want everything to go. So first thing I like to do is to label. Why am I writing like this? Right, nine, nine through ten, six. So this is my September monthly projection. Again, I don't know how much my paychecks will be. I'm not salaried, and I, so I am eligible for overtime, which I try to do whenever I can. That's why it's just a projection and not a salad type of budget. So the first thing that I do is my estimates. So paycheck A, I am estimating a paycheck of sixteen hundred dollars. And for B, I am estimating $16.50. Hopefully it's more than that. I'm guessing that it might be more than that, but that is the minimum that I'm expecting based on the overtime that I've done. And I am keeping track of that, but because of the raise, I don't know how much, you know, it's just complicated. So we just do that. And I also have a sinking fund planned to use. So I want to add that. That's $250 for my daughter's birthday. Next thing that I like to do is write in the notes that will affect my budget. So you already know the birthday. Um, I also want to put utilities. So utilities, I've adjusted how much I'm going to pay to utilities this month. Usually I'm doing $200. Um, I put $152 here, but... Um, I've increased it to $200 every month so that I can have a credit in my account by the time we get to winter time and that heat bill goes up. But this time for utilities, I am going to pay a little bit less than $200 and that was because I needed to make room for other bills. So this time I want to write down how much I'm going to pay. So we already have quite a few credits. So the utility bill is only as of right now $68.67. So we're actually going to pay $167, and that's because I needed that $33. Yeah, I needed that $33 for something else. So we're going to pay $167 on utilities. So we're still paying more. We're still paying $98.33 more, so I'm happy with that. That's a lot more than what's due. Um, and that's because of the credits that I've already been paying towards the utilities. Um, birthday, 225. Nope, sorry, it's 250. Jeez Louise. 250 for birthdays. 250 for birthdays. I want to put that in the step account. So I have that extra card that I use for my daughter's allowance. I want to make sure I keep that 250 for birthday only. So I don't want to keep it in my other bank accounts, but I need to transfer it from my savings now because there are things that I need to pay for for the end of September. So for the first paycheck, that 250, I'm going to move to that step account. So I don't know if I should even included i guess i should include it as income because i'm still going to be spending that money all right so that brings us to 3500 but i still want to keep this separate so let's do 32 50. all right yeah since i'm putting that in a different account I'm going to budget with the $32.50. That's just a little less confusing. So we're going to budget with this $32.50, which is paycheck A and paycheck B combined. That's the estimate anyway. All right. And then we're going to take out our automatic savings. That's the first thing that's going to come out. It is this one $75 that comes out every pay period, which is $3.50 per month. So this is going to automatic savings. So you want to take that out. brings us to 2900 left to budget with and this automatic savings I'll break that down for you so 200 goes to the emergency fund every month 50 dollars goes to my daughter's oh, 100 dollars every month 100 dollars every month goes to my daughter and then 50 dollars a month goes to the carnal savings account Okay, that's zero. 
for $2,900. So the next thing that comes out would be any semi-annual bills that are due. $60 for the water bill. That's already been paid. So I can skip that. Uh, variables are like groceries and gas. So we have to travel for one of the events for my daughter's birthday. So I'm going to put some more money in to the variables. So for gas, I'm expecting to spend an extra 50 in gas. So 310 plus 50. Yeah, I'm going to say an extra 50 in gas. Yeah. So 360 should be good. No. Girl, what? <laughs> monthly is 620. I'm forgetting that I'm doing the monthly budget. 620. So we're expecting 50 more in gas. So that's $670. That we're going to spend in gas and grocery. That leaves us with $22.30. I'll give you the breakdown of the variables. All right, so breakdown of the variables. So for grocery, that's the same. That's going to be $500. What does that leave us with? That leaves us with 170 for gas. All right. That zeroes out. And this is for toiletries too. Sometimes I, I use this, like if we go to Walmart or something, so I've decided to start um decorating a little bit in the house for like certain holidays. So well, not holidays, seasons. <laughs> so for this season of fall, we bought a few things for the house. Maybe I'll show you guys a picture of the place settings that I got, mostly from the Dollar Tree, if not all. I think we got everything but the candle from the Dollar Tree. So I'll show you guys that. I'll, send, I'll, I'll upload a picture of that or I'll insert a picture here. All right, $22.30 is what we have left. Next thing that's coming out is our cash envelopes. And I've already decided what I'm going to do with cash envelopes. I think I'm going to be um, saving some in the first paycheck for the next one. So I'll take out my normal $225 each paycheck, which amounts to $450. And we'll just take a portion of it and save it for the next paycheck. That's the way that I'm going to have to do it in order to stay on budget still. But I'll show you guys that when I do my bi-weekly paychecks. So that leaves us with $17.80. And oh my God, I forgot my bills. <laughs> bills definitely should have come first, right after savings. But that's okay. Different order this time. $4.50 is for my cash wallet. And I'll give you guys a breakdown of that. So this is what I, what I mean when I don't do all that editing. Editing, which I probably will do, have to do some today. <laughs> 450 cash wallet. So personal gets 150. So that is, this all comes out in cash. Dining is going to get 140. Some of, most of that will go towards dining during her birthday. 80 for entertainment and that'll probably go more towards her birthday too. Pet is getting 20, health is getting 20 and miscellaneous is getting 40. All right, so 1780 is what we're left with. Let's zero this out first. And I do this to double check myself because clearly I'm scatterbrained sometimes. All right, 1780 is what's left. So we got to go back and pay the bills. <laughs> That's important. I've already done the breakdown for the bills and I've decided 1493 needs to go to bills. I'll show you how I'm doing that breakdown. That leaves us with 287. Okay, so for the bills, or the fixed expenses is what I usually call them, 1493. And that's because I'm I'm overpaying usually for utilities and I'm paying a little bit less in that so that I can put it towards the debt. So that debt parking, as it was one of my goals, I wanna make sure that that gets paid off and done so I can stop thinking about it. $14.93, of course, uh, what comes out is mortgage. 
that's number one, 890. Then we have $40 goes to allowance, which I feel like allowance shouldn't be in the fixed expenses. It should be in the variables. So maybe I'll start doing that from now on. Then we have Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. I know those off the top of my head. What else do we have? Here's the bills. Utilities, I said that we were paying 167 for utilities instead of the 200. Paying 60 for the phone. Um, investment, I don't think that's gonna get done this month. 117 for car insurance, 87 for internet. And I also have a credit on the internet. I was paying, before the internet bill went up, I started paying the new amount so let's say it was i don't remember what it was before but let's say it was 50 dollars before i started paying 87 a couple months before i knew it was going to go up just again so i could get a credit and discover i'm paying more on discover i said that i wanted to pay 75 all right what does that leave us with That leaves us with $33. I guess that can go to student loan because I clearly forgot about that one. All right, so that zeroes out. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. So this 287 is gonna go to sinking funds. I'm not doing saving challenges anymore. So let's show you what sinking funds we're doing. I think I little, have a little bit more than I expected to have. We're also playing, paying more on Discover. Usually Discover, the minimum is like $35, I think. There's no minimum right now for my Discover because I, I use it and pay it off immediately for certain things. So like savings that I have, for instance, when I go to Walmart, I use my Discover card instead of trying to transfer money from all these different savings accounts. So that way, when I go home, I can look at my receipt, find out what I spent in each area, and then just move, do my moving and pay off the Discover card. It works for me might be easier for some other people to use different payment methods. Sometimes I'll have them just ring the things up separately, but depending on what we have to do for that day, that can be too much. So it's just easier to use the, the Discover card, which is what I've discovered. <laughs> 287, so that's what we have left to save. Okay, so I know that for passports, I just wanna pay $10. So I discovered that I don't need I actually don't need a passport this year. So we're going to slow that down a lot. Vacation is going to get $40. Junior year is going to get $50 for the month. These are mostly separated in half by pay period. Home maintenance, I'm going to give that $40. Family fun, I'm just going to put $30 in that for now. That, it slows down in the fall. We do some fun things, but not as much as we do in the summer. Child's Beauty is getting $40 because we are definitely going back to getting our hair done. Debt and parking. We want to pay that off. So I think I'm going to do 33 in one paycheck and 34 in the other. Yep. So we can pay that 67 off. That is key. Definitely want to pay that off. And I think that's it. Should be it. Let's see. 287, 10. I think I'm going to have some more money than I thought. Yep, 10 extra dollars. So let's put that 10 extra dollars in home maintenance because there's this chair that I saw that I want. So my corner, I'll show you guys that. I'll leave it as a surprise. All right, that is it. That's a September budget. Um, it was a little scatterbrained, but it's pretty clear cut. The two fifty for her birthday, I kind of have an idea of how much I need to spend on each thing. So let me, I'll, I'll break that up and show you that. So September birthday, I know already approximately the tickets for our, we want to go with paint with a twist. Um, this one is for a kid's night. So you just have snacks and juices or whatever you want to bring. And it's a cute little painting that they have. Uh, let's see, $50 for 
cake i'm estimating 50 dollars. i don't even know if she wants one but i'm estimating it in my budget i know i want to get her a bath and body gift card i want to get her um a clothing gift card i don't know where she wants to go but probably online and oh she wants to go to this smash place so that's forty dollars let's see what we have left 65 50 50 50 40 oh, i'm already over by five dollars so we can budget the cake better 45 to 50 so that's the plan it's not a lot of money it's not a lot of things to do but we will also go to i don't know if she wants to do hibachi or if she wants to do like a crab place that will come from our dining budget and then the gas for traveling there will also come from our gas budget so some of these things are just incorporated to the existing budget already i will probably spend more i don't know i'm gonna try to stay on budget though okay so before i close out question of the day is what are your fall activities that you like to do i know that we like to go apple picking we might go pumpkin picking like to an apple festival sometimes they have that um sometimes there's like a maze a hay maze although we got last lost in it last time <laughs> i was quite a few years ago so i guess that's the point um that's really it for fall yeah maybe we'll take a road trip just to see the nice trees i do love to do that just to see all the pretty colors in the trees that's always fun to do and then we have to start planning for our Christmas trip because if I've explained before, we're not doing Christmas gifts this year. We are doing a trip. So I just think that's better for us. The experience will be better than just things that we're just going to throw away. But that's it for me today. I appreciate you watching. I want you all to remember it is about progression and not about perfection. Thanks for watching and happy saving. Bye. <laughs>